What does calcium boost up? Calcium boost up? Uh, what does calcium do in the actual main game? Oh, that was a sudden switch of music. Um... Raises your special attack, right. Um... I'm just gonna get the Fenny. Please, you can't just get rid of Markart like that. I mean, I can ask. It's up to Carl when, whether he gets rid Doing of it that. or not. Doing that already. Doing you getting rid of Markart? Oh, sweet. No, no. I was no. I already set up a pool chat. Can I not say or? Nope. Oops. Andre, meep. Meep. <laughs> Intimidator. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... You know my votes. You, you know, you know this. What's gonna really suck is that if I get through all this perfectly fine without uh Bonobi. Oh my god! I was at the last floor. <laughs> Bonobi, you son. I, I'm. I honestly want to murder Bonobi right now. Bonobi wasted three of my reviver seeds just because he was absolutely garbage. He was absolutely a garbage character in this entire thing. Great, I was a part of those some of those Mario Karts. Plus, unfortunately, I've been sleeping um, earlier. So, some of those Mario Karts I've just not been part of joining. Just due to the fact that I've just been tired. Yeah, no worries. Mm-hmm. Pick up the pace. Oh, this guy again. Alright. I'm not gonna voice you, Bono, but you're a completely useless Pokemon. Is that crocodile? No, it's not a crocodile. It's not a crocodile. Yeah. What's a crocodile? So it's not right. Should we go after him? No. You shut up, Bono B. Lie! I need to save my lines. No, Bono B. Shut up. But, but, no. You're useless. You made me waste. Why are you so mean to me? You made me waste items. Why is so me? Sorry to keep you waiting, huh? Yep. F for Bunnelby. <laughs> no, L for Bunnelby. <laughs> it's good that you've been sleeping more, and great. That's good. Always good. You should always sleep in. Well, not always sleep in. Ah, uh, debatable on that one. Carl, you should always sleep in. Sleep till like one. No. And stay up till like four. It's a perfect sleep schedule. For you. I mean, it was kinda. I was a nocturnal person anyway. I could stay up later for a lot of people's streams because people stream so late. Like Biz and Andre stream so late for us. Well, yeah, late for us. I don't remember the scene. It's because Bonnie's useless. Oh wait, okay, I actually remember. I just don't remember the beginning portion. I because Bonnie is useless. Wait, I think this is actual, like, legit, serious story. I I hate, I still hate Bunnelby. I mean, regardless, here, I'll voice Bunnelby, okay? No. Just to make you feel I'm, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip Bunnelby. Also, that's Entei, there. isn't it? It is. I mean, he was just kind of a jerk to us. But I didn't understand, could this be Entei? No. Hey, but what about the other characters? 
Uh, I'm reading them internally. This battle's over. I don't sense anyone else around. Uh, like whoever internally is already gone. Beep boop beep boop beep boop boop. Expedition gadget. I got expedition gadgets. Come in. Is anyone there? It's the Dende. day. What's going on over there? You hear me? My aisle, actually. The Ente died. Uh uh. Uh huh. Is that so? Even Ente got turned to stone. The one that got up an air balloon too powerful. <laughs> yes. We unfortunately didn't make it in time. Dende. Oh, Bunnelby. Good work. No! Yeah. Yeah, good work, Bunnelby. <laughs> yeah! Shut up, Bunnelby. Bunnelby's such a useless Pokemon. I don't even think Bunnelby is even, like, great. Okay, so Entei turned to stone. What is turning him to stone? Yeah, it's generic. I, as I said, Crate, uh, Bunnelby was only semi-popular due to the fact that he was the one of the main Pokemon uh, for one of Ash's companions in the sixth generation of the anime. What would the ex Expedition Gadget be for the Starry Explorers, Carl? That's why I'm asking. I'm asking you. Uh -huh. oh. I... You're the one who has started it. I mean, I was the one that posed the question. Yeah, and... but you're the one who started the whole Explorer, so you would have to think of it. Well, since it is since my team is based off of my own story, which is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Scattered Memories, it is based off of a certain mechanic that I haven't explained yet. Is it is it call is it calling Celebi a useless Pokemon? No, it's not, Nick. Well, then again, I'll give it credit that Celebi is actually more useful than Bunnelby. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> Reactive. It's a lose lose situation. It's a lose lose situation for me. So, <laughs> at least I like Celebi more than Bunnelby. How about that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's something I can agree with. <laughs> oh, it's just not much. You know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that, and you continue on. It's not much. It's oh, not really high bar. Huh? Just watch Pumpkin just burst in and say, What'd you say about my onion with a ton of eyeliner? I thought it was your onion. I thought it was a lettuce. Or a snail. Or an Eevee. I'm trying to remember who said who. Who said what. Uh, It was that uh, newcomer to that Mario Kart stream that said it was a snail. That... that was it sna Oh yeah, it was snail. And then someone else said Eevee. Was that Nova? Probably. I think it's Nova. I'm not too sure. <clears throat> Let's sing for hashtag my Selby romance. We still have to wait for that, Luigi. Again, that's gonna be all about Toast Dog and everything at that point. Yeah, we're just we're waiting on both Pumpkin and Toria for that. Yep. So once that all things set up, then I just have to practice, and then that then we'll see how that goes. Again, the main the main two conditions are met. The rest of it just has to be um, providing everything else. Yep. Plus, I don't even know the lyrics. Well, actually, I do have some of the lyrics, but not a lot of it. Ah, dang it. What does scrub mean? Hmm. Carl, can you please post the ly lyrics to that song in the chat to explain what scrub means? Why? Why me? I'm. I'm. You don't want to ask the questions. Six no, more gifts. I want to see. No, I just want to. I want to see if I can bait. Was if I can bait Rivers out? Even though I think Rivers is sleeping. Is Rivers sleeping? Did he? Is Rivers sleeping? Actually, or just uh, or more, I think it's lurking. So yeah. About it. 
Uh, what do you mean by six more gift subs? Carl, I thought you said you're not going to take any more uh, commissions for a while. Yeah, actually. I mean, I could put it in the backlog, but... I, I, no, no, Carl, don't, don't even make a backlog. Like, actually... Like, because, like, I think I've noticed, like, with a lot of artists is that when they make a backlog, it's just going to, people are going to keep doing it over and over. And it's just going to keep getting f more, like, full. So the point where you're just going to, it's a never ending thing for you. Got it. I think you just actually put a hard limit. It's like, even if they give up, that's not going to do anything to it. Like, um, I think that, I, I think it definitely is one of those things that you just have to put a hard limit. Otherwise... It feels like it's an impossible thing to finish. Yeah, sorry, Luigi, but this is also for the sake of Carl's sanity as well. I mean, he should be fine. He's fine now, but it can get overwhelming. Might as well start the practice now. Yep. Plus, Luigi, you can w you can be like the first one to uh, redeem more once it that bat backlog is finished. So. More yeah, time to I'm wait. Still, I'm still waiting for Darunia, actually, on his art commission. Uh, you want? Did you mess? When did your last message to uh, Darunia about it? Uh, I think it's about about a, I think about two weeks or something like that. I mess, can double mess, check. Message, message him again. Uh, you you should like message him again about it. He was on earlier, probably just like lurking, in this check yeah. in. But like, you should definitely just message him again. I know you and Biz are actually gonna actually get an art commission done. Who else do you have? Who else? Um, currently, I'm also doing was it Hil Hillary Clinton's emails? I still can't get over that name. I mean, yeah, there's that one. You still need to finish up with uh, uh, Gengar and Salamance. Yes. Other than that, anyone else? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I'm missing someone. I'm just trying to remember. Who. You should really write these people down. Oh no, I'm just doing this off of memory right now. I mean, you, I did write it down. You no, did write, write it. Okay, I was gonna yeah. say if you're doing all on memory, that's really bad practice. I know. Ampharos is actually a really good, cool electric type. The only problem is, is like he, it's like Ampharos is really slow, like in general. I don't know if he's like oh. my favorite electric type, to be honest. Oh, though. I already remember who it is. Who is it? It's Luigi Fire. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rated Luigi Fire. Actually, no, actually, my one of my favorite electric types definitely would be um. Oh, what would it be? Uh, would be elect Electivire. Oh man, Electivire was actually pre is pretty cool to be honest. I think Electivire beats Ampharos for me personally. Oh, I just realized I never did this on my lighting. But it has like, uh, that to make up for it. That's true. I mean, still not the, eh. I'll slow down my lighting a little bit. Maybe I should not have autofocus on my um thing because it's. No, that's, also, that's about fine. And thanks for the applause, Weasel Army. Uh, just T wave immediately and faster because. Uh, you can hit the uh, hit the hit with the Ampharos. I don't know how well Ampharos is competitively, to be honest. I barely used Ampharos. How long are these chapters? Uh, it depends on the chapter. Oh, I didn't check the Pokemon Nexus before. Check it out. Wait, rank up? Yeah, rank up. Yeah, you ranked up. Yeah, did someone rank up another explorer? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just used to that. I'm used to the notification for whenever someone resubs. Yeah. 
I really need to work on my, like, notifications. I'm still slowly working on that. Oh my god, 40 items? I could have used that last time. Oh. I should I should have done this earlier. I forgot about that, actually. I'm going to that stuff. But the reason why I forgot is because it's usually done automatically. Yeah, I don't like this. It's also that I don't really like how... Um, what was it? It's it's just... My biggest gripe about this game is just everything is really dragged on. It really does drag on. Okay, this is what people had to deal with before Rescue Team DX came out. Ooh, a piece of candy. I know, and I still don't like it. Why well, uh, can't you just see the same thing, same way as us? I... I don't like it. Oh. Oh, crawfish. Oh, crawfish. Why is it crawfish? Crawfish. Gosh. Crawfish. 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 <laughs> of course. Wait a minute. What did I see in that? I, I I just I just saw a Pokemon. Huh? Where is it? No. No. Yeah, there they are. Verizion. Oh, Verizion. Oh wow! I can help. I can. Oh, sh shoot, I forgot. I can accept all these from here. Oh my god, there's a lot of help posts here. Yep. Well, um, time to accept all of these. Yep. When Blaze doesn't know some of the references on that orb. Well, I mean, it's because he hasn't played any of the other games in the series. I actually have not. This is literally legit my very first one. Uh, I'm, I'm playing... I only know DX's story a little bit because not only did I watch Chuck Conway's playthrough, I actually know the story of it from a long time ago because I looked it up about Red Rescue Team. And you also watched me play it. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, that's the only game I know personally from story base. Everything else I don't know. Well, then again, I also watched the anime specials of Time and Darkness as well as the Sky a little bit. So I know a little bit of the spoilers, though I'm not trying to be... I don't want people to reference it because I I still don't know them in context too much. Though I think my brother explained it a long time ago. Either way, I'll find out once I get through Sky. Man, these are remember, different continents. I do remember specifically that I want... That I'm... That after the first stream... Of you playing Super, I was like, wait, I think this is a bad game to start with. <laughs> yeah, Super is such a terrible game for a lot of newcomers to get into. Like, absolutely terrible. That's my bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wanted you to play Gates instead. Because I think Gates is better. If it's a faster story, that would have been better. But this is... the As I said, the reason why this is such a bad game, it's so slow. I feel like you would enjoy Gates a lot more for what it has to offer. Like, in the sense that it offers, like, a lot of customization, whereas this game doesn't exactly offer that, so... I know ACT because, as I said, I watched, I watched the um, DX, at least. And I knew about ACT even before DX and all that stuff. Yep. So it's not that big of a deal for me. Actually, I thought that was Luigi Fire's team for a second, but then I remembered, no, wait, that's different. Oh my god, look at all the more bearers. Well, I mean, good? I forgot multi-select is a thing. Yeah. Enjoy this while you can before Explorers. Yeah, uh, as I said, this is also one of the things that I really don't, uh, I, that's why I don't like to play newer games before older games for a lot of the times, just because of the, thanks for the lurking, Craid. I'll, I'll see you later, Craid. 
but um this is this is this is one of the reasons why i don't like playing the newer games of a series before playing a uh older games it's just because of the new mechanics i'm just too used to set mechanics kind of thing I think that's justifiable for a lot of cases, which is why I kind of wanted to start with Red Rescue Team. But then again, there's a lot of games in Pokemon Mystery Journal, which is why it's it's really difficult. I mean, if you don't count the Japanese only games, there's only like four games. And also, if you don't include remakes, there's only four. I mean, there's Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team. Well, that counts as one. Time, Darkness, and Skies, which is, I mean, I'm. I'm counting them all in like one in this uh, own set, set of stuff. Well, okay. If you if you go by that, then yeah, sure. There's a lot. Then um, no, I'm saying like red and blue goes together, but I'm counting the games in each generation kind of thing. Oh. Uh, red and blue. Time, darkness, and sky. Sky. Mm -hmm. Infinity, then super. Yep. Yeah, that yeah, is only four. four. Hmm. Yeah. It's just that um at one, it's just that. In rescue, no worries, great. In re yeah, rescue team and explorers. Those games have multi gener have multiple games within its own generation. It's only starting, like starting with um, with gates is where they stop doing that. And honestly, for for the better, because I mean they tried copying the main the main uh, story and everything. But there's no reason to in this. What is it for mystery dungeon? Because you're not trading Pokemon, you're recruiting. So what's the point of having virgin differences at that point? Just so for more of like people interacting, that's the point. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying, Carl. Yeah, like with like with the main series, it makes a lot more sense. Hey, you got some money. Yep. Now, but I'm okay. I'm gonna deposit it. Don't spend it all. I'm just depending. I'm just looking. What do I got here? I I need to buy some blinker seeds. Oh, blind. Uh, no. These are meh. Yeah, these except are all the, meh. Maybe except for the revive all orb. I think you have some already. Yeah. I'll deposit two hundred and. 31. Sounds good. Uh, I want to save really quickly. Is it, I'm going to be playing this game for a little bit because I want to make as much progress as I can. Sounds good. Before Ooh. No More Heroes. Hey, Dursa, what's up? How you doing? Smug. Smug, Buizel. This game any good? I've always wondered about this series. Um, So, we are actually discussing about this earlier before you joined, Dursa. But um, Super in itself, I really don't say is a good starting point for anybody in the Mystery Dungeon series. Like emphasis on starting. Point. Yeah, the, like emphasis on starting. It's a it's a nice Mystery Dungeon if you get past the beginning. But the beginning is like five hours of slow slog, and like it's multiple chapters. It's not a great entry point. Heck, I I mentioned this before a long time ago. If I didn't start streaming this and I didn't have Carl here to help guide me and talk me through some of this stuff, I would have dropped this game in after like the first few chapters. I would have just said, no, I'm I'm done. I'm I'm done with this game kind of thing. And yeah. never touched it again. Now it's getting alright because now I actually get to actually play the actual mystery dungeon feel of this game. Um I would say for starting, uh Skies is always a good like it's like considered the peak of the mystery dungeon, but I think a, I think a good starting would be like DX a little bit in my personal, from what I can say, say uh -oh. even though I don't know much about it. Uh, DX, huh? Well, not, 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 I don't know much about DX. I know, I don't know much of the series, I say, because I don't know much of the original red and blue, but I know that they're extremely difficult, especially for newcomers. I know, I don't know much of time, dark and sky. And I don't know much of infin uh, Gates to Infinity outside of what Carl has said. Yep. But I would say, honestly, I still say um, DX is probably better, to be honest. I don't know if you agree with that, Carl, or not. Uh, Gates, wait. 
Gates and Thinny's better? No, the DX is a good starting point for um mystery dungeon people. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I said that. Or even cusp bro. <laughs> even cusp bro, yeah. Um, there are not actually that many because technically red and blue are it's like red and blue are like Pokemon red and blue, literally. Uh it's like um red and blue are the same generation, the same game, just different types of Pokemon are in there. And then time and darkness are the same game, but different types of Pokemon. Uh Sky is basically the third, so it's like you can imagine time and darkness like ruby and sapphire and sky being emerald where emerald's the complete package and more content for that so and then in gates to infinity its own game super is its own game and dx is a remake of red and blue together which is why i, I would say that's better i don't count japanese only because most likely dursa won't play the japanese only most likely i would say well let's just say that late like as of late there are there finally has been a fan translation of them. Speaking of fan trans, speaking of trans fan translation, let's keep going. It took, them, <laughs> it took them a while. It took them a while to actually get <laughs> the fan translations like up and running. I think you made the fan translation. <laughs> 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 when he tried to stream while like gargling mouthwash or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, speaking of fan translations, we still need to go with, um, playing that Ace Attorney game. Oh, yeah, the great Ace Attorney. Which, uh, instead, I'm gonna be start, uh, streaming that at some point. It's one of the planned games I have. I have a long list of RPGs I'm gonna be playing. How you doing, Kyle? I'm doing good. Yeah. This morning I woke up, and then I ran, and then I watched Grace's stream, and then I sound checked Finding Paradise. Things have been going smoothly. How long are you going to be playing Finding Paradise? Are you going to try to play it all tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting at like 9 a.m. my time tomorrow, so we will we will marathon it. Okay. However long the game takes to finish. So you actually will try but to because beat of, it. because I'm starting earlier in the morning, like it will be over by some point in the afternoon, so it's all good. Yeah, I was just wondering. I was like, I was curious because I thought you were gonna be like stopping in the middle of it, um, like I did. But it sounds like you're gonna be like um, going at it. you're gonna go be going at it all the way. I thought you did play Finding Paradise all the way in one playthrough and one stream. No, I did I. No, I think, I think I we had, I think we had been maybe thinking about splitting it in two because that was back when you didn't stream for like very long stretches. So I had like suggested like, oh, I can tell you when the half point is, halfway point is or whatever. But I think in the end you did play it all in one go. Let me look at that because I have a collection of Finding Paradise. Yeah, I feel like maybe during one weekend you kind of did Bird Story and. Uh, and the DLC in one stream, and then the next day went all the way through Finding Paradise. Uh, sad to say that this was during a time where my stream kept cutting in and out, and so I got like four different parts, with one of them only being three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did happen back then. Oh, I hate this. Do you remember freaking that when we re recorded To the Moon, like the version that you still actually do have? Yeah. And like your. OBS went to your laptop mic so you could hear a fan the whole time or something and then like also like multiple people in the stream including me were sick so we kept coughing throughout the whole game <laughs> oh I don't remember that uh, that was such a long time ago but it sounds familiar mm. you look so tiny next to Salamence I mean it's adorable Salamence is my seen... daddy by the way have you seen Salamence's walk animation in this uh, darn it, Neko! Don't even make a headline yet. Play something. <laughs> Needs to make that. What? What? What command? Headline command. Uh, you can make it. You're, you're, you're a uh, mod. I know, but I, I know I can, but I don't think she's written something yet. That's. I can make it into a command yet. 
I don't even know what the command you're talking about. I'll tell you later. Or at least I can tell you. Speaking of um, Ace Reporter, Luigi, that reminded me. Uh, did you guys uh, uh, ever watch uh, Ace Ventura? Ace what? Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I've oh. never seen it. No. I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so apparently they are actually making a third one officially. Really? I thought they were done. I thought that was completely done. Yeah, that's what a lot of people thought. And then they just announced literally today that they're making a third one. Is Jim Carrey still in on it? You know, unfortunately, nothing confirmed. But all they all they confirm is that the Sonic uh, the Hedgehog movie writers are in on it. Hmm. That's okay. all. Great movie. I've only watched like the, I think the second one. I could be wrong. I still haven't, I still haven't seen the live action Sonic, but I hear that like, I mean, I, I didn't hear anything about it being like a great movie, but I did hear that at least Jim Carrey was interesting. Oh yeah, no, Jim Carrey <laughs> was like the highlight of the entire movie. To be honest, I don't care. It's like it's like it's it's like it's like one of his favorite mo moments would be like um. The time for talk is over. Time to push buttons. That that's one of my favorite quotes of him. And they just kind of memed with that one, where it's just like, oh yeah, this is like exactly how um um like games in like act in the actual um in video games are when you go through cutscenes. It's like when cutscenes take away your control, and this is like when you back back to gameplay. It's like. Time for talk is over. It's time to push buttons. Yeah, I don't even know about cutscenes nowadays. They, they just overuse them. Mm. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Oh, Metal Gear. Liquid. Liquid. Like that. That moment where Kyle was just like, Nick, this is not how Snake sounds. Oh God, Nick, this is not how Snake sounds. I was looking through your backlog, and you beat the crap out of Pikmin 2. Yeah, no, Pikmin 2 is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh <laughs> one of my favorite Pokemon <laughs> games. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, one of my favorite uh, games of all time. One of. I played a lot of out of it, uh, out of it. Um, yeah, I as a kid, Pikmin and Pikmin Two were something like my brother and I always played together, and we hundred percented it twice. But uh, both attempts on hundred percenting it. Um, here's a here's a here's a funny. Well, I don't know how much a funny story would you like be entertained, but I played Pikmin like you know how Pikmin it. it it basically um, encourages you to make more, um, uh, make more, make more Pikmin, right? Hmm. Monster House. What? So he's bringing. Oh, okay, good luck. Wait, what items do you have? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, what items do you have? Uh, let's see. Oh no. Uh, Tata Orb. Tata Orb is only get you, gonna get you so far. They're all gonna still gonna attack. Yeah, they're gonna attack each other. Yeah, but uh, they can still hit you. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to run away. I suggest you you should use Petrify. Nah. Oh, that's but, not helpful. But um, I I. <laughs> but I um I played Pikmin two. Uh, in a different way, where I basically, me and my brother, made sure that none of our Pikmin, like actual Pikmin, never die. That means if we lose a single Pikmin in any of our runs, uh, in, in like a dungeon or in the outer um, overworld or anything like that, it uh, we restart. And it took us like many tries to get through the entire game. Twice. Wait, were you trying to do like a deathless Pikmin room? Yep, basically. Jesus. Yeah, no. It's not great. 
Why? Uh, because my brother and I were kind of sick. In not not like physically, but mentally. You <laughs> just we're just to just, just to make it as hard as possible. Basically. Well, we also wanted to like have it like that. Wait, why is my salamence? Why is my salamence um blocked like that? Wait, did you use the all petrified? Yep. You know what? I don't know. Yeah, they will remain petrified until you attack them. Should I just attack my Salamence? Oh, Grace forgot to change the name of her screen. So uh, someone came I... in and see Skyrim and was like, wait a minute, what? No, I think it was, uh, I think it is correct. It's like, birthday week finale or something. I think it said Final Fantasy VII before her stream break. Mine still says Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> You have to refresh, it's the... Probably the... said to refresh, it doesn't say that on my end. Oh, okay. I kind of want to go back and just, um... No, I'll leave them. No, I, I kind of want to go back. I want to save Salamence. He's just going to warp to you, don't worry. Oh no, he's, uh, they're out. Oh no! Miss Magius! Great job. Good job. Uh, Let's go back to the Emera and choose use. Yeah. I don't want to be friends with you, bullcrap. Oh, too late. I'm going to leave this floor, to be honest. I'm not like in a hurt for Emer or whatever. You only have to escape, right? Yep. But there's another thing that down this uh, dungeon further. Ah. No, you're not escape. So I think it's floor seven. I have to go down. No, never mind. It's on this floor. It's just right there. Konnichiwa. 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 What? Konnichiwa. Oh, my wa moldesne. Okay. <laughs> Are you even cussed, bro? <laughs> oh, I need to eat some apples. To be honest, I don't think uh, apples are like one of my least favorite fruits, to be honest. Gives me an itchy throat. It does, same thing too. Like, I, I, I can still eat them, but personally, I don't really like apples that much. Like, I would say my favorite... Uh, peaches and nectarine can give me it, like a really uh, allergic reaction and cause my throat to swell up. Or not, not swell up, like, um, that itchy mouth, like... You know, you know, like, it itches in your back of your throat, right? Yeah. Because thing, you know that exact feeling I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, one of those fruit, uh, causes that, and I just hate that feeling consistently. Uh, I'll give you an apple. So, uh, what's, what's a fruit I like? I... Mm. I guess I, I like more vegetables, to be honest. Uh, usually honey crisps. Usually, I don't really like to go like for food. Uh, is it Fiji? Fiji apples? Fuji. Fuji is it uh, Fuji apples? Yes, Mount Fuji. Mhm. Mm I don't really like those a lot. I don't really like red delicacies. Red Delicious. Red Delicious, yes. I don't know apple terminology. You Fine. didn't take the, the Apple Studies GUR Western? Is it actually Apple Studies? That you, no. You... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if there was, though. Sounds like a Fairhaven thing. Sounds like a Fairhaven. 
Dude, I still remember that one time. Um, there, there, there was this person who studied underwater basket weaving as an as an actual major. I wonder what they're doing with their career now. Like, if that actually like, you know, led them to anything with that degree. You know, I don't know. I don't know if they're one of those people that picked a random uh, degree and said, this is my degree just so, and get off my back kind of thing. Like catering? Leave me alone, mom. <laughs> Got my degree. Yeah. Or were they one of those people that actually thought that it was going to be a, a cool little thing to do? You uh, have a unique thing, but ended up just like regretting it. I can't really think of any practical applications for underwater. Yeah, you only underwater basket weaving is like an Olympic sport or anything, is it? So you're not going to get like any like professional. Was there any like benefits from weaving baskets underwater though? That's the problem. If you open your own like basket selling business, then perhaps you'd make money from you that. Can't weave the basket on land. Like yeah, I was gonna say, it's like at that point though, like you're just adding unnecessary steps to your labor process by having to do it underwater. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand. If, if there is any benefit to working underwater, is that things kind of drift a little slower because you're working in a denser medium? So you don't have to, I don't know. You know, I have no idea. Hmm. So, what exactly are the physics of something roaring so loudly it actually physically moves you? They break the sound barrier? No, that I was just break your eardrums. No, I think it break your ear, not your, your vocal cords first. All right, can't wait. Can actually sound pu sounds can push you, right? Yeah, no, they can. I mean, if their sound is loud, if sound is intense enough force. to push you, it would probably be yeah. rupture your organs. It's a force. So, technically, yes. But how loud do you have to be in order for a sound to push you even a little bit? Oh, that's actually a simple answer. There's a simple answer to that. Give me the equation, it's, Dr. Carl. It's not an equation. I can literally just tell you it's in layman's terms. Give me give me the equation in um, professor terms. Think, things go boom. AKA an explosion. Hmm. That's what that's that's how things can move you. Like literally, because explosions, it's literally just sound pressure. Yep. It's it, it's a, it's just sound pressure that creates a vacuum and air rushing in to fill up that is it that vacuum. So, but so what you're saying is is that um, for any Pokemon to push with howl, they literally need to. Ex make an explosion sound or equivalent to an explosion sound no it, it, you would literally need to explode they can't make an explosion sound or something no. similar to an explosion sound no it would have to it has to be the explosion itself but it's like that doesn't uh, but you can't can't you, then you, that means you can't yell so loud no. that he pushes no the yell would have to would have to cause an explosion would that break like break the sound barrier then it does break the sound barrier. So, fact, so, so, break so, so breaking the sound barrier would um, push you back. You're not just breaking it. it would, you would need to break it at a certain speed, and it just so happens that an explosion would cause that. Is that a freaking unicorn? Yeah, it is basically a unicorn. Also, James, I did not know you were such a painter. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, what? What's I was just with... uh, I was playing around with that photo P website that I found through Reddit. Cause it's basically like just an online website that you can just use to like Photoshop things. It has an interface very similar to Photoshop. Clone okay. snapping is a little bit weirder because the cursor doesn't rem remove as precisely. But other than that, like all the keyboard shortcuts and the interface is the same as Photoshop, so it is pretty useful. It's also that uh, James's face is angled while Bob Ross's face is not. So it ends up just like J James just looks like a really bad mask. James's face is like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I was I was kind of tired of clone stamping. It didn't need to get it that perfect. Body slam ended up on the mountain the first try with the clone stamping. So. Mm -hmm.
But yeah, I was, I was just testing out clone stamping to see how well it works. So I, I was just like, I got clone stamp something, what should I do? Oh, I have a picture of Bob Ross right here. Oh, here's a picture of James. <laughs> <laughs> James is like, made the body slam Pikachu. <laughs> I really like that Pikachu oh, face. That, that, that Pikachu face is like one of my favorites, but unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, I don't own that image, so I don't want to use it as any emotes. Yeah, yeah. No, you but, just got to just you just got to add the distort filter, and that's it. Carl, recreate it, or no, James? Better yet, James, recreate it. Yeah, why not? James? <laughs> you can find the original artist and pay them a commission. Sure. Can't do they have commissions? Because some artists don't have commissions. I mean, not all of them do, but I mean, if it's, um, I'm sure you could like offer like a, a fee for the right to use it as an emote, or, I mean, some would, it just really depends on how receptive they are. Oh. Getting my burps in. A half written let well that her. Oh, okay, yeah. We, all right, we're starting to get into the meat of, of the story. It's funny how many people just come onto uh, Grace's stream and are like, "Are you British?" Th this, this happens literally has, every stream now. Where people are like, "Where are meat. you from?" or "I love your accent" or whatever. This story has meat, Carl. I mean, yes. I don't like it. It's like a brisket. But, um... Oh yeah, now, I, I, now I'm... Now I'm, now I'm, uh, now I'm saying the, the British accent. Because I have Grace's stream still up. Oh. You have a British accent? It's cute. I was just wondering, lol. You what? Grace finally has a house. After hauling around 308 pounds of crap. <laughs> <laughs> after playing this game for years. She's still holding it! She doesn't even stash it. She just, yeah, she just keeps her her body thick all the time in that game. She's just like constantly over encumbered every time she picks something else up. Like if she would just like stash herself whatever she's holding, she could just accumulate more stuff. She's, she's a, a nomad. She just travels everywhere and carries all her material possessions around. She has a hundred over a hundred thousand gold and just now bought a house, built a house. Like, she could have bought the blue palace or something. She could have, there's the. A... So, uh, do, the next story mission is going to the prehistoric ruins, Carl, is what I'm as assuming? Oh, yes, I think so. If that's the case, then. Oh boy, this is where the story actually finally kind of gets interesting. Hey, I'm on chapter, gonna be on <clears throat> chapter. Wondering, I'm assuming chapter 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this game is like 28 chapters, and I only have two pictures left. Hmm. Hmm. This game's long. Let's see. Let's see. Also, Amphros is drooling. And? And? I'm waiting for it. Let's eat! <laughs> it's the moon! Don't stare at the moon too long. Otherwise you turn into a giant ape or a werewolf. <laughs> or a pig. From Paper Mario. Alright. <laughs> well, it has more to do with the, the bell than the moon, but... <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Where's my script? Where is my script? Ooh, turn back. What? Oh, that's right, you have a sound thing of that. Why? Oh, that's right, we did do that, I forgot. <laughs> I still have it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Carl is just still confused. Carl's been graduated for like three months now. He has. Yep. So that 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 is an outdated thing already. Appreciate still. It. Hmm. What'd you say? I still appreciate. Still appreciate it. All right, I'll play it again. Ooh. 
I, I did, that's not what I'm it. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Carl. There you go, Carl. Thanks. <laughs> Get, 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 get out! Oh, of course. How can we? How can we forget about that? I'm opening more soda cans. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> James, you made some like pretty meme videos with that sound. Oh man, I don't know if you're I don't know if you guys are gonna like what I'm drawing. I don't like it already, since you say you know oh, we're not gonna like it. It's more so oh, towards everyone on. else. Every <laughs> Just saw your message, James and Grace's chat. <laughs> Please. Please. Because, like, I noticed, like, Grace isn't the only player that does this. It's just, like, <laughs> a thing that's, like, it's actually probably more common than not is the fact that players will just pick up everything. Everything. And just keep it. Yeah, it's a hoarder. Like some stuff in video games, it's like, this is a literal piece of garbage. I think I'll take it. Bye. I know what it is. I was waiting. How is chat doing? Uh... Sorry, Tate, my dudes. <clears throat> What's going on? No, oh, we're just waiting for Nick. Hmm, I see. What? What is he switching games? No, he has to do something right now, just for a bit. Mm. Oh, Carl. Yeah. So in my box today that I uh, that I pulled, um, so I bought two of the newest set that just came out today. I bought two of the Battle Styles booster boxes. Okay. And <laughs> I managed to pull an Urshifu V Rapid Strike Urshifu V. And then a Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, but it's Rainbow Rare. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I am I am so excited. I'm trying to make a deck with everything. And there's Door Handle. Yay, yep. Door Handle. You know, for sanitary reasons, we should probably polish him off. <laughs> okay. Hey, nobody wants COVID. Fair enough. I'm trying to figure out how to draw a Pokemon in Dragon Ball Z style. <laughs> Come near me, off. Ooh, feisty. Feisty. All 
Actually, is it even possible to draw Pokemon in Dragon Ball Z style? <laughs> oh yeah, it's possible. <laughs> Well, anyways, I should probably start heading off anyways. I've got to head off to work tomorrow. All right. Yep. Get some. All right, get some rest. Yep. Have a good night, everybody. All right, good night, Good night. All right. Just as a reminder, chat, we're still waiting. Uh, We're just waiting for Nick right now, or Blazer. He has to do something. So in the meantime, go ahead and just vote on Dragon Ball Super versus GT. Which one do you like more? I have seen neither, so I cannot answer that question. Well, still vote. Well, my vote goes to um, uh, Goku's Japanese voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I again, do bite. <laughs> Kyle can times one hundred. <laughs> huh. No, seriously, how am I supposed to draw like? Okay, maybe I have to take a look at the eyes and see how it differs. Eh. <laughs> and there's another knife. Dang it, wait, one. Oh my gosh, I just... Grace is sorting her food. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I just... didn't go in this barrel. It's... I just... Oh I just found a picture of Pikachu in Super Saiyan 3. Oh. What the frick? Wait, what is Nick doing? No, like, he's been called, or he's been summoned to do something. No, Crate, please don't. <laughs> the one thing I'm just trying to figure out how to do uh, is how do you do, how do you draw Celebi's eyes DBZ style? Because I don't know if you can. <laughs> Grace has uh, gifted an empty wine bottle to a pile of skeletons. <laughs> <laughs>
Shed, how's it going? Uh, we're just waiting. We're waiting for a blazer right now. Yes, he's been summoned to do something. I told her I should be polished. Oh yeah, <laughs> how rude! Telling telling a door handle to get polished. It is quite insensitive now that I think about it. Oh, wait. Okay, I think I have an idea. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Did Mike leave? Uh, yeah, Mike had to yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, he had to go to bed. Alright, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, my dad was having printer issues, and so I had to help with that. Really quickly. What happened while gone? I see Shed and Door here. How are you guys doing? Yeah. So he what happened while I was gone? Sorry about no, that brief. Much. Nothing much. I just set up a poll asking uh, if people liked GT or Super more. What What was the winner, actually? I don't know about that. Super. Yeah. Super. Yeah, no. It's super won. Super, super had better consistency. I like Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> well, how many Mario games have you played? Uh, mm -hmm. Kyle, yep. Like, uh, I mean, we're just talking about like Mario platformers or like Mario in general. Mario platformers, let's go with that. Um, I've played actually a pretty minuscule amount of like the original NES Mario games, which you need to like actually like sit down and play at full at some point, I guess. But then I've played Mario World, 64, <laughs> Sunshine, Galaxy 1. Thanks. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers Thanks and the for DS the and Wii. Up. Craig, also hey door hey shed hey door how are you guys Odyssey. doing i told i should be polish um, i guess for platformers oh, that would polished. be it right dude that is amazing thanks Craig, so Thomas much mario 35 hope you guys uh i have not played that one i probably enjoying. have like 10 days hope you guys are doing right? well also thank uh hold oh, that stuff God. you do this sport and art yeah that's true catching up count as a platformer what does count as platformer super mario 35 uh, eh, it's sort of, but I actually don't really count. I consider that more of its uh, battle oh. royale in the S more so. It's not the main series uh, Mario games. I've played the Mario sixty four remake on the DS as well. There's also mm -hmm. that. Which is your favorite Mario game have you played so far? Mario sixty four. Um, <laughs> maybe I should just start over on sixty four and stream it. But mm -hmm. um, as far as platformers, I think Mario Galaxy one is my favorite. Hey. I haven't played Mario Galaxy two though. Join the club. Wait, I thought you played Mario Galaxy 2. I have not. Never have. No, no, no. no. The Carl. Huh? No, I have. Well, you, you, I go, have. you said join the club when... You said join the club of Mario Galaxy 1 being my favorite. Because he's like, yeah. oh my god, I love it so much. Who podcast about it? Yeah, no, the, pro the, the thing is, is like, you said it, join the club after he says, like, after Kyle said, like, oh yeah, I haven't played Mario Galaxy 2. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> also, thanks for supporting, Craig. Much appreciated. Well, Shed and Door, you guys have a unique two-month badge uh, on you guys, so much appreciated. What is, uh, what was the, what? What'd you say? I said, okay, Grace, because you said much appreciated, which is like her catchphrase. Much appreciated. Holy muck. I had to do a voice for her. 
Yeah, she was, you were doing like an impression of her earlier and like Rivers pointed it out in her chat. So she started listening in and she was like, I don't talk like that. And she was like, when have I ever said, oh gosh, I type in the chat. I'm like, you say that every time we make fun of you, Grace. And she was like, oh, I guess I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, Rivers had to point it oh, out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh my God, Biz, Fave Pokemon. Uh, Thank you for the tier one subscription for three months hey look biz got the n64 logo uh and yeah luigi only has the founders badge can't have the actual badges which just sucks uh forgot the lurk command it's the exclamation lurk uh door exclamation lurk is great um i have phantos founder badge i have phantos founder badge i was the first to subscribe to him when he uh got affiliate yep no problem although though. i think luigi i think luigi fire wants that first Nah, I stole it. Hey, Biz, how you doing? How, how's your day been and all that stuff? Uh, favorite Pokemon? I only go by generations, but I think one, one of my favorite Pokemon in, like, Generation 4 is definitely Electivire. Uh, that's one of my faves. Generation 2, I guess, like, Totodial. Generation 4, also Lucario would be good. Taking a short break from work? No worries, man. I keep forgetting. You're, you're three hours behind us and you work really late. 10 gift subs and made 9 other founders. Nice. Gen 3, though. Gen 3, though. Hey, Space Lion. How you doing? Um, yeah, Gen 3. Gen 3? Uh... Swampert. I think Swampert would be one of my favorites. What's your one of your favorites uh, in Generation 3, Kyle? I know you played Generation 3, so at least you can say yeah, that. Yeah, Blaziken. Blaziken is my favorite out of like those Star Revolutions for sure. Other than that, Gen 3 Pokes. Um, I like Sableye because it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, Torchic and Blaziken, Sableye. Um, Ludicolo is pretty dope. Ludicolo? I'm not the biggest fan oh, of Ludicolo, oh, but I, I can see him being Mimi. Um, um, let's see, what else do I like? Uh, I like Flygon. Flygon's pretty good. Uh, Tropius, uh, space is a Tropius. A Tropius is cool. Tropius is pretty oh, uh, cool. Oh, dude, uh, Shedinja. Shedinja. Shed I like try to use Shedinja, but no. Shedinja is a fun meme Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, okay, no worries. Like, thank you for joining. Uh, tomorrow I'll be for sure eating spicy ramen, so I'll see you there tomorrow. I'll try to save some spicy ramen for you to watch when I start. So, for sure, K, you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by, and, ha and uh, oh. I'll see you tomorrow, for sure. Take care, K. Uh, I'm off to a terrible night. Uh, six night six start. Oof. Good luck, mm -hmm. Luigi. All right. Have a good night, K, and get some rest. I'll catch you later for sure. <laughs> it's only 19:30 here. Wait, do you guys use the military clock system, or do you actually use like regular, like AM, PM? Mm -hmm. Wait, Actually, Japan uses they might have just time. been saying that in the chat to specify that it was PM and not AM. Do, do, does Japan use uh, the military clock system? Well, military would be like not generally. No, they do on like um like say like train timetables and that kind of thing, like in written formalities. Hmm. And they'll also hmm. say it when speaking at times too, which is a bit different than English, I guess, because we would just say like seven thirty PM, but in like. Say like a train announcement, they would say the train is arriving at 1930 to like mm -hmm. clarify that. Mm -hmm. Metal uh, Grass looks cool, I guess. Oh yeah, Metal Grass is cool. Metal Grass is cool. I didn't realize I really like Sal Salamence is pretty cool. I think Claydol uh, is cool too. Claydol. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. It's fine if you're not a Gen 3 Pokemon fan. I'm more of a Gen 2 person. But then again, mm -hmm. I also like a lot of Gen 4 Pokemon too. Gen so. 2 is my favorite, but I like Gen 3 a lot as well. I like Gen... Hey, I like Gen... Jirachi. <laughs> Jirachi. Um, I think, like... I, I definitely like Lugia and Ho-Oh from Gen 2. Those were, like, one of my big favorite legendaries. I would agree with that, yeah. Yeah, I it's like I think May 2 is a little overhyped. I like him, but I, I think I like Lugia and Ho-Oh more. And then there I mean, is... with Mewtwo, I mean, Mewtwo blew him up. Like, I surprised he hadn't been draining himself booze. <laughs> Um, Gen 4 Pokemon, I definitely like, uh, Dialga. 
I, I definitely like the Alga. Mm. Um, let's see. We use digital in Australia, but yeah, I Gen go Four Badoof. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Gen Four was the generation where someone sent me uh, over the global trade system. They sent me a turd rig that they nicknamed Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, the GTS. Oh, what a oh, time, dude. Oh my god. It's like this before Pokemon Bank and all that stuff, so to use the GTS, I remember I had to go to my public library and use their Wi-Fi. I, I barely like use 10. the GTS. Yeah, I was like, I was like 10, and then just get a Pokemon named Penis and like, <laughs> Yeah, I think we were like 12 years old when Diamond and Pearl came out, and um... I, uh, I really wanted a Feebas and couldn't catch one myself, so I thought I was being so cool, like, getting a Feebas uh, on the, uh, the oh, yeah, GTS. Yeah. But it's the Feebas, like, like got through a trade. I don't think I traded something particularly Digital. valuable for it. Oh, use white But time. what I got was a Feebas that had, uh, <laughs> been given too many Poffins or whatever, and it couldn't max out its beauty stats, so it could never evolve. Never late. And I was like, Always oh, well, fuck, I've been fooled. <laughs> so I never trusted the GTS again after that. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, that's understandable. Um, Dor, I never understood analog time and all the quatre, uh, all the quatre two, and all the that that's so military is easier for me. GTS was dope. Uh, the 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 time is weird and all that stuff. I just go by. I just know military and digital really, and that's it. All right, no worries, Biz. But GTS, I enjoyed GTS for what it was. Oh my. What the frick is that? <laughs> Back to work. Wait, how do you spell that? I don't know. I don't know how to spell it. Uh, I, I'm gonna show this on screen, just because. <laughs> oh, okay. The must the mustache Photoshop. We could use some work. If I was just kind of hurrying it to be done with it. I'm gonna show this on screen, Carl. <laughs> I mean, you showed your face. Now I can show things on screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just didn't feel satisfied completely just putting the Carl face on a on body slam. So I was like, man, I gotta add like a mustache to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna name it Carl BS, even though it stands for body slam. It just sounds like Carl BS. <laughs> yeah, that's rude. There we go, guys. This is what Kyle recently made in our Discord. I hope you guys just... I hope you guys enjoy it. Can we just make this a channel points redeem? <laughs> <laughs> just sing it on the screen. <laughs> just put, put it like shrink it a little bit and put it closer to like like under the Ampharos box so it looks like it's like one of the Pokemon that's there in the cutscene. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Hold on, wait, I, I got an idea. There you go, Carl, you're my part of the cutscene. <laughs> oh great. Thanks. No, I'm saying put it like in the crowd of. Po oh, never mind. You are moving. It's just I uh, stream delay. Oh my god, that's hey, so good. You can check on Discord. <laughs> it's right there, perfectly. Yeah, that's true. Um, just that, it's just I always have the Twitch tab open to get those channel points. Oh yeah. Just, how just how many are you at channel. now? I'm at almost ninety-two thousand. I'm getting close. That's a French. That's a. Uh, it's that's French. That's French, not English. Yeah. Or if you want, I'll stream at night. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Carl, uh, Carlgasm. All right. Here we go. Ah. Well, how you doing, people? Mmm, lovely day we're having. Oh, it's tricky. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Whoops. That is just right? tough. <laughs> Whoa. Go, go, Godzilla. <laughs> do, 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 do. Quarter is 45. Oh, no. Right? There oh. goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla. Lovely, lovely town. Oh, shoot. Let's go. Oh my god, Carl's going with them. Oh my god. Pikachu dash Carl. Oh, oh shoot, I just lost the Pikachu off screen. Oh no, Pikachu dash Carl. I threw it off screen and now it's gone. Shoot, it's gone. 
Well, Pika Stash Carl is currently AFK. Leave it be. <laughs> Leave it be. <laughs> Leave it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let, let it be. be. Let it be. Carl doesn't want. Carl doesn't Please want. Get rid of the mustache. Let it be. Carl doesn't want Pika Stash anymore. <laughs> So how's my progress going so far, Carl? I actually don't know where I'm standing at. I think you're progressing pretty well. It feels like I'm still not making too much progress. That's the problem. Here's a here. Let me just tell you this. The plot's literally going to come crashing down on you. So it's going to move much faster now, right? Uh, so much so it's going to give you whiplash. Okay. I mean, I'm, I, all I'm asking is to just move a little bit faster is all. <laughs> give yes. you whiplash. Hold on, do I have a... Are there any gifs of Whiplash and, um... Quiplash? On tenor? Oh my god. Of the, uh, the movie Whiplash? Quip... Quiplash. Well, do I have another Petrify Orb? I have... I have another one, yeah. The little I have. Thank you for the Wisdom Crit. I've seen, I've seen on Reddit that, like, among, like, the jazz community, people Thank seem to door. hate the movie Whiplash, which is kind of... I understand why they wouldn't be a fan of that movie, but... Wait, what What are they not a fan of? Uh, the movie Whiplash, if you heard of that movie. I know about that, but who's not a fan of that, actually? I, I didn't know like, that. just jazz fans, the jazz fandom. No. Eh. Like, I, I, I understand why. It's like, I was just looking on Reddit while looking through, like, the jazz <clears> subreddit, because <throat> I was looking for jazz records to listen to. And, like, there was somebody basically saying, like, it's not really a movie about jazz, it's just a sports movie that has jazz songs in it. And I was like, yeah, that's... It does kind of follow the same plot arc. And, like, there are people saying things like, oh, this movie is clearly made by somebody who just took, like, high school jazz band, but it totally doesn't represent, like, what being a professional jazz musician is like. I was like, yeah, that's fair, because I was in jazz band in high school, and that's why I like that movie. Okay, Carl, you know what I didn't realize? What? I didn't realize gold bars don't take up inventory space, so I never fully realized that he's been stockpiling some of them. Also, why is there something called a mega donut? <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. Mega donut. Also, mega donut, I mean, okay, I don't know if this is in the previous games, but I think this might be... It might be making it to be here, correct me if I'm wrong, Leech Fire. Um... It's... Basically, it's a stat boost. Okay. What should I go for? I, I need some, probably some pro tips for you, Carl. For what? For gold bars. Should I give, get money, or should I actually trade it? Are there Carl pro tips? Mega D. God so... dang it, door. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I thought, wait, I thought you are lurking. <laughs> Doors oh, being crayed where there's like, they're lurking, they're listening, but they're not typing a lot, but they cut, pop in whenever they... they Here's something that piques their interest. There was one time <laughs> I bought a donut and the cashier tried to give me a receipt. Okay, so I told I told him I do I give you the money, you give me the donut. End of transaction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Nick, if you go to the very if you go to I think like the third or fourth page. Uh hold on. Uh we nuzlocking this? We're not nuzlocking this crate. I cannot nuzlock this. Dude, he would have lost three times over. <laughs> yep. Oh, look, I'm looking at my own stream, guys. Lurk digits, BB. I'm not even live. <laughs> you don't have to I haven't live. been live since, like, Luke, Tuesday. You did, too, you did too soon. Um... Right. Wait, so, okay. At least in Gates Infinity, there's something that's called flags. And what that would... And what that would do is... Essentially, give you, like... Status. Like, protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, I don't see any of that. Hold on a sec. Go to the third page. It's only, um, TMs and PMs. stuff. Okay, first page again. These are, like, increased stat stuff or, like, better seeds so, and stuff. So, okay. <clears throat> There's one benefit to getting the gold looplet. And that, look how many, look how many emeralds you can put in there. I have one gold looplet. So yeah, if you want to, if you want something that's where you're gonna add in a lot of emeralds, then feel free to get one group, like gold loot blitz. I have two in my own playthrough. I think Dor's now abusing the lurk system. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
I don't although need points. Gold, although one gold bar for five Reviver Seeds is actually really, really good. Yeah, the problem is, it's just like, I'm trying to think, how much does a gold bar um, give you if you trade it money? I think it's like 300. Uh... Let me see. 555. No. no, 555. Okay, that's a lot more. I'm just, I'm just trying to think how to optimize this. Honestly, personally, like my own play, personal playthroughs, I just saved them. <laughs> Cancel lore command. You just saved the bars? Yeah, I just saved the bars. Just yeah, in I, case I, don't if I, need I don't absolutely need them right now, so I'm, I'm fine with agreeing with that. If you need, but if you're, but if you need <clears> some uh, revive seeds, feel free to use some of them. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm doing like what I, you said as well as like what I wanted to do is stockpile them. What? I can't even get my gift. God dang it! I hate this. I hate this game. Oh yeah, story events. That's why. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's been about like two and a half hours. Time to switch over to no more heroes because I think that's gonna take a while to actually complete. For once. Huh. What? Yeah, so you said you were like raging at that game last week? Yeah. I was absolutely ac ac actually raging at that game. 